How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Android 5.0 Lollipop. If you guys haven't seen that, that is the new Android version that Google announced like a day or two ago. So um, we're going to talk about some of my top five favorite features of Lollipop. Let's do it. Favorite feature, numero what? Material design. What material design is, and, and to sum it all up, is really shadows. It's depth, it's shadows, it's touch responsiveness and effect. Um, so it's going to clean up the interface and give it a nice, smooth, clean new interface. So I'm pretty pumped about seeing that really functioning well. So that's going to be feature number one. Lollipop feature numero two. Definitely has to be battery life. For me, battery life is really, really important, especially on mobile platforms. It's very important to have that, you know, full day battery life, two day battery life, whatever it is, tablets, phones, um, battery life is super important. Some of the things that they've added into Lollipop here are a battery saving mode that gives you another 90 minutes of battery life on average. Uh, they've also added in so that you can see when you're charging your device how much longer it'll take for your device to charge and you can also have how much longer until your device is dead. So it gives you both those numbers in there all the time so you know when you need to charge it next, you know how much more life you have left on it. I like that feature. Android 5.0 feature numero three is going to be quick settings. Now, quick settings is something that we install a lot of custom rounds for. We want these cool features in quick settings. For example, we want to have a flashlight toggle in our quick settings. We install a custom ROM. We want to have uh, Wi-Fi hotspot enabled through a touch uh, a quick settings so we install a custom ROM. These are things that custom ROMers, guys who like to hack and monitor device, love to have in their custom ROMs and finally Google is coming together and putting it in official Android. So I'm super pumped about that feature. Feature numero four. Here we have to talk about performance. Performance is obviously important in any Android device. You want it to run smoothly without lag without any flaws, without any shuddering and stepping and transition problems. So Android Lollipop is now running on Art. Art is the new runtime environment that it runs on. We used to be running on Delvic, and you can actually see that in older devices. You can actually, any a lot of KitKat devices, you can switch them to Art runtime environment versus the Delvic runtime environment. So Art is actually going to boost our performance and our, our smooth transitions and all those kind of things. Um, about four times better than running on Delvic. So that's gonna be new. Art is going to be now from here on out with Android. It's going to be the official standard runtime environment. So we're gonna to have to get used to that change as well. Also with Lollipop, you guys are going to be getting 64-bit compatibility, which is really, really cool. You know, computers have been running on 64-bit for quite a long time. Now we're having our mobile devices running 64-bit for their processing power, which is awesome. So I'm super excited about that new feature as well. Last but not least, feature number five, device setup. Now, some of you might think this is not the awesomest feature. I absolutely love this feature. And the reason I love this feature is because I switch devices constantly. I'm always getting something new. A new device, I'm always having to set it up, transfer all my stuff over, or use some kind of root application to do it, and it gets kind of annoying. So what they're going to do here in Android 5.0 is they're going to add an NFC kind of like data transfer thing, I guess you could name it. But basically what it does is you take your one device with NFC, you take your new device with NFC, these are just two devices, stick them together, and Google is going to see all the apps that are installed here, is going to take them and install them all on here. Boom. All your apps basically transferred right over. It's not doing it through NFC. It's actually just finding out what all they all are and then re-downloading them off the market, I'm pretty sure. Um, but very, very nice. So you want to get everything set up. It's going to be as easy as touching your two devices together, new and old, and you're going to be rocking and rolling. So I'm pretty pumped about that feature as well. That's going to wrap it up for me on Android Lollipop, new features that I love. Please comment any new features you guys might like. I'm going to give you guys links to the official list of all the new features in Android Lollipop, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out. Yeah. 
la 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 la